Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So today, <laughs> I got stains on here. I cleaned it and washed it, but the stains from the cranberry sauce are still there. Anyways, on to what we're doing. So today, um, I cleaned out my freezer and I have a bunch of pre-cooked chicken that came from my mother-in-law and I want to get it all used up, um, make room in my freezer, so I make a giant batch of chicken sloppy joes and any leftovers from the chicken sloppy joes will be used to make um, stuff on a shingle or potato gravy. In our house we call, call it potato gravy. So, anyways, I have a pint of homemade ketchup. Big old dollop. My great grandma's recipe. Big old dollop of your favorite barbecue sauce. And a quarter cup of our brown sugar. And we're just going to mix it all up. And then I'm going to plug in my crock pot and let this sit on low for about half hour until it's all good and started to warm through and started to mix its flavors. And then we're going to add the chicken and we're going to let it cook. So we'll be back for that, you guys. All right, here we go, you guys. My mixture of barbecue sauce, ketchup, and brown sugar have been cooking for about an hour. So it's all nice and flavored together. I can tell you right now it already smells like manwich. Now you can use raw chicken or frozen chicken. The choice is yours. You can use hamburger. You can use um, Italian sausage, you can use anything you want, but I've been given a big quantity of pre-cooked chicken from my mother-in-law, so I am going to make, like I said, um, chicken sloppy joes and a large quantity of them so that the leftovers can be made into hamburger gravy or up on a shingle. Can't say the other word. Don't want to be demonetized. That's what my grandparents always called it. Stuff on a shingle. In my house we call it hamburger gravy. Now each of these packages is one pound. And they're still mostly frozen. Mix it all up. And then I'm going to turn it from low to high. Mix it up as best as I can for the moment. I'm going to turn it from low to high. And then you just let it cook for another three or four hours on high. And you will get a big container of chicken sloppy joes. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to let it keep cooking. And I'll bring you back, you guys. Okay, so I did want to show you a full plate of the food, but my kids loved it so much, they took their plates right off, I didn't get a chance to film anything, but here is the leftovers. A little bit of the Sloppy Joe burger left, and this is actually seconds of one of my children. They had two helpings of vegetables, and so technically they ate one and a half helpings of vegetables. The vegetables are just mixed veggies cooked with butter that's it nothing fancy so there we go great sloppy turkey sloppy turkey <laughs> sloppy chicken dinner so all right guys i hope you enjoyed it we'll see you in the next one bye